So this is the first day of the new year, which has also been called the new earth. And of course the new earth also means the new self. So I am here in the town of Shaftesbury in England, holding the abbey ruins of Shaftesbury Abbey. And it holds the Christed energy of the Divine Feminine. So a wonderful place to be. And of course, as you are all with me, outside of time and space, we can all enter into this Divine Feminine, Divine Mother, Christed energy, and begin to experience its peace and its purity. We have all learned, of course, that the ascension process is an inner one. Ascension takes place within us, not outside of us. And so we are required to move within, to move ever more deeply within. The more deeply within we move, the more that opens up for us. We can access the entire universe from within. What does this mean exactly? Let us begin to breathe within, aware of the breath, moving into relaxation with the body. And discovering that as we breathe with awareness, we breathe in the light of spirit into every cell of the body. For these wonderful energies that are arriving to us from the central sun are in the very air that we breathe. They are in the atmosphere of the earth and we can breathe them in. We also we see them, of course, through our crown chakra, through our high heart, and so on. Be aware of how relaxation into the body and awareness of the breath allows you to enter more deeply within and we continue to move ever more deeply within for there is no limit to how deeply within we can move and yet it is not by trying by making effort by wanting to get there that this takes place. It is through non-effort, through relaxation and moving ever inwards into that place of pure beingness. This is where we experience the light of self, the light of our soul, our true essence. Here in this inner place, 
we know ourselves as the being of light. That light is love. That love is light. And I am. I hold the light for the world. I bring love to the world. And there is no limit to how much light I can bring and how much love the universe makes available to me to radiate outwards into this world. I begin to understand my purpose here and how it is time now for me to fulfill my mission to hold the light for the world to anchor this light into Gaia and bring the Christed energy of divine love to this world Feel the expansion which is taking place within your high heart. And we have a choice how we experience this energy. We can choose to experience it as sadness, or we can choose to experience it as joy. Let us make that choice to choose joy. We all know it is much easier to go down into the lower emotions and always requires something which we call effort. To choose joy, bliss, and peace. We make that choice together through our circle of love to come together in love and in joy as we support each other combining our energies of love as the heart energy flows around our circle and the choice is made we choose the higher path experience how your frequency rises, how we are all being lifted, all our angels around us, supporting us, lifting us and leading us along our path into ascension. Allow yourselves to continue to fill with this light, with this love. Beam to us from the central sun. Received by the stars, by our sun. 
and radiate it towards us all from the realm of the stars and you can feel from your heart and third eye your connection to these stars to the star beings that are with you who love you who know you and you feel that connection As you continue to merge into this expanded consciousness, come into this new experience more fully as you allow it to expand to further activate as you acknowledge your connection to the stars you fill with starlight it is joyful blissful divine it opens your heart to receive the love of the creator which is throughout the whole universe You become one with the stars and one with this love. You may picture within your third eye that image of Hathor and move into her joy her freedom having purified all darkness your higher self, your higher aspect, never left. This place, it has always been there. The purity of the Christ itself, living in divine love, eternal bliss and harmony in peace it is the dimension high above the lower third dimension As you hold this higher place within this frequency, your expanded consciousness, mm -hmm. 
its rays of love and light dissolve all remain in darkness It is as if a shower of divine love and light descends over the human aspect. It brings comfort, support, compassion and forgiveness. We take some time now to allow this healing to take place. And Mother Sekhmet comes to, to lead us through with the warmth, softness and gentleness. As our energies are combined, this healing is extending around the planet. And we also wish Gaia to receive from the stars so let us make our connection to her heart and core as she receives the light of the stars And the light travels through the crystalline grid and around the planet. And as her heart energy rises, coming into oneness with our hearts, flowing out into the crystalline grid, we feel the oneness with the spirit of Gaia our souls in oneness with her soul. And the oneness with the soul of our son. The sun, the earth, coming together in our hearts. Gaia rises the light in our circle becomes
becomes brighter and more intense. And the sun pours its light into our circle and through our circle into Gaia. Become aware of the sensation within the physical body. How every cell is filled with light. How light the body feels. How relaxed. Be aware of your feet upon the ground and your connection to the earth, the soil, the grass, the trees, her waters, her mountains, and your presence here. And when you may feel ready, you simply open your eyes and be in both worlds simultaneously. For we are the ones to bring heaven to earth and to create heaven upon this earth within this world. <laughs>